वेलकम ऑल फॉर एटीन एम ई थर्टी थ्री बेसिक थर्मोडाइनमिक्स वी आर डिस्कसिंग द फर्स्ट चैप्टर फंडामेंटल्स फंडामेंटल कॉन्सेप्ट एंड डेफिनेशंस वी हैव डेट फ्यू प्रॉब्लम्स इन द लास्ट सेशन वी आर कंटिन्यूइंग आवर सेशन फर्दर सो लेट अस टेक द नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम द रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ द वाइंडिंग्स इन ए सर्टन मोटर इज फाउंड टू बी एटी ओम्स एट अ रूम टेम्परेचर ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड वेन ऑपरेटिंग एट फुल लोड स्टडी स्टेट conditions the motor is switched off and the resistance of the windings immediately measured again and is found to be 93 ohms the windings are made up of copper whose resistance at the temperature t degree centigrade is given by rt is equal to r not into bracket 1 plus 0.00393t where r not is the resistance at 0 degree centigrade find the temperature attained by the coil during the full load so this problem is again pertaining to again temperature scale and it is of a windings of a motor that is resistance of a motor so let us write again the same way what is given in the problem so he has given us the governing equation given given आर टी इज इक्वल टू आर नॉट इंटू ब्रैकेट वन प्लस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो जीरो थ्री नाइन थ्री टी दिस इज द इक्वेशन गिवन टू अस एंड यू हेज गिवन अस द कंडीशन दैट इज वेन वेन टेम्परेचर टी दैट इज वेन टेम्परेचर टी इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फाइव डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड द वैल्यू ऑफ आर टी दैट इज एट रूम टेम्परेचर इट इज हम एटी ohms right and we need to find out the value of t that is we need to find out the value of t when rt is equal to how much 93 ohms this is what is the problem i repeat the value of t we need to find out when rt is 93 ohms so let us put the values in the equation now that is when when t is equal to 25 degree centigrade rt is equal to 80 ohms so substitute that in the governing equation of rt is equal to r not into bracket 1 plus 0.00393 t in that equation i am substituting the values so what do i get i'll get 80 will be equal to r not Into bracket one plus zero point zero zero three nine three into the value of temperature that is twenty five degree centigrade. So I have substituted that this value in the equation. So I'll call this as equation two. Previously I have called that equation as one. That is the governing equation. Now let me take the second case. What is given to us? That is at full load so at at full load the value of rt is how much 93 ohms at full load the value of rt is how much 93 ohms so let me substitute that in the value in the equation so 93 will be equal to r not into bracket 1 plus 0.00393 into t i'll call this as equation 3 so if i divide this equation 3 by 2 so divide divide equation 3 by 2 so if i divide this equation 3 by 2 i get 93 divided by 80 will be equal to the terms of That is the equation three. That is R not into bracket one plus zero point zero zero three nine three into T divided by R not into bracket one plus zero point zero zero three nine three into twenty five. So R not R not will get cancelled, right? We will get the we will get upon substituting. So I will substitute ninety three into bracket one plus 0.00393 into 
ट्वेंटी फाइव विल बी इक्वल टू द सेकेंड टर्म दैट इज एटी इन टू ब्रैकेट वन प्लस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो जीरो थ्री नाइन थ्री इंटू टी वन पॉइंट वन प्लस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो जीरो थ्री नाइन थ्री इंटू टी सो सब्सिट्यूट दिस वैल्यूज राइट सॉल्व द इक्वेशन यू विल गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ टी दैट इज यू विल गेट टी विल बी इक्वल टू सेवेंटी पॉइंट वन फोर डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड सो आई रिपीट द प्रॉब्लम वंस अगेन the resist the problem is on resistance of a winding of a motor and it is 80 ohms at 25 degree centigrade this is the first condition and the second condition when it is at full load it is 93 ohms and the equation given to us is rt is equal to r not into bracket 1 plus 0.00393t this is the equation given to us and i have substituted these values in the equation The governing equation is R T is equal to R not into bracket R not into bracket one plus zero point zero zero three nine three is the first governing equation. The first condition is when temperature is twenty five degree centigrade, it is ninety ohms at full load. That is at ninety three ohms. What is the value of temperature T? This is what we need to find out. So substitute these two values by taking the two cases at twenty five degree centigrade. R T is equal to eighty ohms. I will get the first equation at full load. That is at R T is equal to ninety three ohms. Substitute that value. This is the second equation. I am dividing equation three by two. So when I divide three by two, right? R not R not will get cancelled. So ninety three divided by eighty will be equal to one plus zero point zero zero three nine three T divided by one plus zero point zero zero three nine three into twenty five. So ninety three into This term that is one plus zero point zero zero three nine three into twenty five will go on the numerator and eighty will go to the numerator on the other side. So substitute that values. So and calculate you will get the value of temperature T is equal to seventy point one four. Thank you.